Let's hear the analysis of Valverde, Rodrigo, and Ancelotti after the match. I had many thoughts in a few seconds when I saw the ball coming towards me, especially after so much criticism from my teammates telling me to shoot more. But at that moment, I didn't think much. I just tried to shoot with all my soul. I also tried to take advantage of the sound the fans made when the ball was in the air. And luckily, it was a goal. How did you see the match? Do you think City was superior? Or maybe you showed too much respect to City? I think we had our good moments and they had theirs. We worked hard defending, but they are a good team and work a lot with the ball, which made us tired. Today, our forwards, who usually only attack, also had to defend, and they did a fantastic job, and I have to congratulate them for that. After the match, I feel a slight bitter feeling because after leading 2-1, conceding two more goals bothered us, but that's football. They are very good, and we gave them space from outside the area, and they took advantage of that. Did you expect such a crazy back-and-forth match? Well, yes. We worked for exactly that. They are a team that works a lot with the ball, and we had to try to use our speed in attack. But as I just said, when we had to defend, we didn't do it well. Were you aware of the situation with accumulated cards for some players? Chuameni received a yellow card 40 seconds into the match. What happened to allow that goal in the first minute? I won't talk about the referees, and even less about a play that my teammates couldn't control 100%. But that's already happened, and these things can happen. It could happen to me or any other teammate. This is part of football. The important thing is that Chuamani had other situations that he solved very well and stood strong in front of the goal, and that's what really matters. Having that courage to play for Real Madrid, and he showed it, and it's something to congratulate him for because not everyone can do it. And about the referees, I don't like to talk. Those are plays they call. We have to respect them and keep working. The team had to play without a central forward reference in attack, and that makes it more difficult in these types of matches. Well, that makes it difficult for the opponent, right? Because there are three forwards like Jude, Vinny and Rodrigo who have a lot of quality. I don't include myself among them because I have to work harder. But they give their maximum effort, not only to attack, but also to defend. They drop back and move forward. It's admirable to see them work. I get tired just going up and down sometimes. I try to just run towards the goal, but they do it with the ball, looking for their teammates and linking up. The work they did today has been very good, and I hope they can replicate it for the next match. Was the nine-day break detrimental? Perhaps for Ancelotti it was good to prepare for the match, but maybe the players need to play more. From my personal point of view, we are really used to playing every few days. And we like that more. Our bodies get used to that rhythm because when you stop for a whole week, we know it's worse. Every effort costs double, and you get tired faster and have cramps, but it's part of the job. And we have to respect the schedule. Now we have to play against Mallorca in the league, and then again against City. What feelings do you have after today's match? We really wanted to win this match and come out with a positive result, but in the end, we drew. We missed chances and conceded goals that we shouldn't have allowed. Now back to training. There will be a match this week, and then against City again. It was bad to concede a goal from the first minute, but something good was that you bounced back. Yes, it's always difficult to recover when you start losing that way. But then we turned the match around. We should have controlled the game a bit more. They always keep the ball a lot. But we created danger on counterattacks. But things are as they are, and we have to be focused for the return leg. Was that the plan, to surprise the opponent with counterattacks, with you playing on the left? Yes. They didn't expect me to play on the left, because Vinny always plays there. Today, we played differently with a new tactic. 
It worked for us, even though the result on the scoreboard wasn't what we wanted. We'll see what happens next week. They are dangerous with shots from outside the area with players like Foden and Guardiol. Yes, we already knew about this and had to close the space for them before, but we failed in that, so now there's not much to say. We have to go there to win. The best thing about the result is that everything is still open. Yes, yes, it's all open just like it was today. Whoever makes fewer mistakes there will win. Folks were here with Rodrigo after this game. A big effort today. You guys almost had your result in your hands and it ended in a draw. Great game, right? I think it met expectations. Everyone was expecting it. I think the two best teams in the league. It was a match that lived up to the hype. Well, we're a bit sad, right? Because we wanted to win at our home, but uh, after what happened at the end of the game, when they turned it around, okay, 3-2 to two and the tie, and it gave us confidence for the next game to try to win there. Today, another goal of yours, 19 goals with Real Madrid in the Champions League and the Brazilian with the most goals in the Champions with Real Madrid. This competition seems to change your bracket, doesn't it, Rodrigo? Yeah, I always say that. It's my favorite competition where I always do well, where things always go well for me. And, well, I want to keep it up. I hope it never stops, that it continues for a long time. Years doing well in this competition. Today, one more goal, I was happy. And, well, I want to score in the next game, too. We saw you playing more on the left today and Vinny playing more centrally. Did Ancelotti train you guys for this during the week? Yes, yes, it was a surprise, wasn't it, during the week when he said I was going out. Playing on the left, which we're, uh, we're more used to seeing Vinny there today, it was the other way around, him inside and uh, between the side back and me, wider on the wing, it was a surprise, but he did very well. I think the plan fit perfectly. We created a lot of danger. Well, we could have killed the game, we could watch the... We had good chances, but it's okay. Now we have to think about the return. When the crowd starts to get excited, Rodrigo is better on the left. Vinny also plays on the left. Are you, are you trying to stir up some rivalry between you guys? Today we saw how this conversation exists. Do you guys talk about this too, Rodrigo? Uh, no rivalry. I think they always try. They try to create. It seems like they can never praise one without criticizing the other. We talk about this too. It's just that sometimes even in training, the boss will say something. He's going to scold him, and then he'll scold me too, and vice versa, same thing. And well, today we showed that we can play together, can play on the same side, the usual. It's always me and there, passing the ball to Vini on the run. You see, behind the opponent's back, and today it was the opposite. He received the ball with his back to the goal. And uh, when I attacked the space, he, so this shows our characteristics uh, that we can play in many areas of the field. Field, and that Real Madrid only plays to win. The last thing, Rodrigo, now you have to win there. City's been 30 games without losing. Losing at home, having been unbeatable for so long, it's very hard to win there. I know now we'll start discussing the odds. What are the chances of qualifying 70-30? 80, 20, what's the percentage, Roderick? We don't really care about percentages. I don't know what it is. I think uh, once we had a 1% chance and we made it through, so this percentage thing doesn't really matter to us. Don't overdo it, just uh, stay focused. Have a good week of training. We have a league game before that. When the Mallorca game is over, start thinking about what we can plan to win. The last one, just one more, celebrated a game today like Cristiano Ronaldo because he keeps celebrating always, as Always, always end up watching his videos, right? Like uh, sometimes I watch them before a game too to get in the mood from inspiration and it just came to my mind at the moment. I hadn't even thought I was going to do it. Doing this, but it reminds you of childhood, like oh, me watching him play Champions League games, seeing the fans chant his name, then that's what came to mind. He's my idol, my hero for so long, so it's always good to pay him tribute. In his honor, the fans sing Rodrigo. I know, that is good, that is good Rodrigo, too. Rodrigo, good luck coming back. See you there in England, thanks, thanks Tati, cheers. Thank that was you. Rodrigo chatting with us after that tie, Real Madrid 3-3. Three three. It's all going to England now. What do you think of this match that has been crazy from the start? It's been a very even match, very competitive and with a lot of effort. I think we competed very well, although we started the match badly. Then the team turned it around and we were able to maintain high pressure. But yes, we did very well. We had the opportunity to score the 3-1 twice with Bellingham and Vinicius. Then when our energy drained, they managed the match better. We waited for our chance to attack on transition, and then were able to equalize the match again. 
we have to keep our confidence. Our plan was to have a slight advantage, but it's been a really even match, and we have to have the same attitude for the return leg in Manchester. Many things happened in the match. Were you surprised that the first play before the goal resulted in a foul and a yellow card? Well, that was a foul. But what we didn't expect was for them to score from that position. From that moment on, we reacted very well, we took the lead, and I think for 60 minutes we did very well. We saw that you were asking Lunin to stay calm. Do you think that first goal affected him? Uh, I, I think Lunin played very well with the ball. Uh, didn't, uh, he did well in starting the play. You see, uh, the other two goals we conceded went into the, the corner of the goal and it was impossible to stop those shots. But I don't think the first goal affected him. Do you think those two late city goals were a result of your team's fatigue? Perhaps due to the lack of energy to prevent those shots? It's possible for a team like Manchester City to get shots from outside the box, but these went straight into the top corner of the goal and it was impossible to stop them. Defensively, we did well while we had the energy to press them higher up the field, to make them feel uncomfortable when they had the ball. Energy in the game to press forward and, uh, and we were able to equalize and score again. And after that, I think after 60 minutes, when we lost a little bit of energy, where we were not able uh, to put uh, strong pressure in front, uh, we had uh, more problem. But we were able to, to come back in the game. Also, if we, if we were 3-2 down. And I'm satisfied, of course, because it was a fantastic game uh, against a difficult team. But the game was equalized. How crucial was it to find that third goal? to keep it even within this tie? Important, important. We could score the 3-1 with Vinny, with Vinicius, with uh, Bellingham. Um, uh, I think it's not a fantastic result for us because we, we wanted to win, but I think that it is uh, an open qualification yet. Was it, did you have a little bit of luck in that first half with two deflections and did that give you momentum potentially? Could be, we were unlucky in the first goal. This is, this is football. We were able to, to shot from distance. Uh, they shot from distance two times. They put the, the ball. Uh, they, they scored a fantastic goal. So this is football. And what lessons do you think your squad will have learnt from last season as you have to go back to Manchester next Wednesday? I think we play with courage, uh, strong personality, and uh, this is what we have to do also in Manchester. Carlo, thank you very much. Thank you.